What is going on Adventure Nation? Welcome to part two of San Francisco. This is the Motorhome Experiment. Good morning everybody. It was a late night last night in San Francisco and we're gonna head back in there and do it again today. So I'm gonna take you guys along with us. I hope you don't mind. Ready? So our last day in San Francisco. Our last day in San Francisco, yeah. We didn't spend too much time here, but uh, we've tried to pack in as much as we possibly could. So off we go again. Good thing we washed the car yesterday. This ocean mist is a pain in the butt. Nothing is harder on the soul than the smell of dreams while they are evaporating. And once again, we have parked at Stockton and Beach and the parking was $20 all day. Last night it was 10 bucks. Uh, today it's 10 bucks up until three, 20 bucks all day. 20 bucks all day for parking in San Francisco is not bad. Not bad, yeah. And we're, again, that close to Pier 39, and we're just down the street from the Pier 33 where the launch Alcatraz. to Alcatraz is. And that's where we're heading now. We have made it over to Pier 33, which is the Alcatraz landing, and we're getting ready to jump on the boat, but we're waiting for a a couple of people that are going to join us out on the island today. Probably a guy that maybe lived here at one time. Got our tickets too. And we've got our tickets, so we're ready to roll. Look who it is! Look who it is! Oh my God, is that the at the rock Lori. We are. Never seen that movie. By You've the way. never seen that movie? All right, we've got our audio tour, and we're ready to start our audio tour. <laughs> This is one of the isolation cells here, and it was pitch black. They couldn't see anything inside. Pretty crazy. That is a little unnerving, being in something like that. This is an area where Mickey Cohn and Al Capone and all those guys were at some point. They told me I'm going to have a visitor today. The 
these two cells here, 138 and 140, are from the famous Alcatraz escape. And you can see the holes in the walls back here where the guys climbed through. That is pretty, pretty cool. I mean, not cool, but pretty cool at the same time. You know what I mean? Okay, Lorena, I'm kind of torn. You've got this guy, William Baker, in there, who is a lifelong criminal, and people are in there having his book signed, taking pictures with him like he's a rock star. <laughs> For me, it's a guy who counterfeited payroll checks, was in and out of prison, tried to escape. For the last 50 years. For the last 50 years. This is what the guy did. He was just a lifelong prisoner. Why do we celebrate that in the United States? That, to me, is crazy. Okay. Am I wrong or not? Let okay. me know in the comments. People were celebrating. It's more about, it was just a book signing. So he wrote a book and people were buying the book and wanted to sign. But getting your pictures taken with him and stuff is just, I don't know, just weird to me. Let me know, guys, in the comments if I'm just weird. Well, I mean, don't let me know if I'm weird. I know I'm weird. Let me know if I'm weird about this particular thing about <laughs> celebrating a criminal with a book signing and taking your picture with him and stuff. This is the recreation yard, and this is where the prisoners came for. Get it? Recreation. No way. And yes, I would not kid you. There is also some really cool wildlife out here, and as you can see, the fauna, flora and fauna. Oh, yeah, like that one right there. <laughs> How crazy is that? Oh, and there's one in the bush back there. I can see the Well, Lorena, we have came and conquered the rock. Ready to We're get dead. off of here? Yes. Time one way to, in, one way out. Yes, yeah, time for us to board the ferry. Looks like one's on its way here. So we'll be out of here and go grab some food, dude. Yes, we're all hungry. And before we go, you know what we need to do? Rate it. We need to rate it. The one to four rating with one being don't waste your money to four being bucket list. What say you, Lorena? See, for me and this me personally i think this is bucket list i think this is i think since i was even in mexico totally different country i've heard about alcatraz and you read it in books and all that it's like a very in the like, movies very iconic i have not seen the movie but, <laughs> but never it, mind it's a very iconic place so for me this was a bucket list and this is my second time here actually so it's pretty awesome and i would have to agree with that it is a bucket list because it's just again one of those iconic places that you read about see here everywhere social media movies tv everywhere everywhere so bucket list get it done but I, I i think to add to that i would think san francisco as a whole like just the entire san francisco i'm sure area. like if you're here in alcatraz most likely you're gonna be around san francisco <laughs> that is true but i'm saying the rest of san francisco is a bucket list too yes so just disregard everything i just said she's right i'm wrong all right let's get out of here i know here. what you meant <laughs> these boats are run by hornblower cruises and you can see they have all kinds of solar power and they have wind power turbines up here as well. You can see all the solar above my head. Those are all 330 watt panels. 
very similar to the 330 watt panels Kevin has. And then on the back they have wind turbines and all of that helps power things on the boat like audio and things like that so that the diesel engines don't have to generate that electricity. So they use less power and burn less fuel and make them more fuel efficient and more green. So that is really cool. All right, we've had dinner out and now we're heading into Chinatown. This looks really cool. We have left Chinatown and now we're just wandering aimlessly around the downtown area trying to see what we can see. It's really cool down here. So, city life basically. Some great smells, some bad smells, some good sights, some bad sights. Pretty crazy. So we're winding down our visit here to San Diego and we're also winding down our are hanging with the Millers. So no, they're gonna be not so. taking off for just a little bit. Yeah. They're gonna be vacating for just a little bit. They're gonna blast up the coast. We're gonna kind of stroll up the coast. Yeah. Check we'll, out our channel for no videos. We'll, <laughs> if, if you don't wanna see any videos, go to veganrv.com <laughs> and check out their channel because they don't have any. But they're gonna work on that, yep, right? We're working on it. We're gonna have some cooking videos up. We're gonna have some jogging videos up and uh, yeah, I'll probably, all kinds I'll of great be stuff. Weighing like 85 pounds the next. That's time right. Next time we see him, he's going to be down like 60, 80 pounds. Like, yeah, where's That'd be amazing. I don't even see it. Man, we're actually going to have to start watching the videos. <laughs> right to know yeah. what we're doing. This is going to be weird. I don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, we watch it anyway. Yeah, we do. <laughs> we actually do watch all the videos. I don't even know what I'm saying. Probably not. All right, you guys. Dude. Bye. Love you. See you, dude. Aww. See you, baby. <laughs> Oh yeah. We'll see you soon enough. Bye guys. <laughs> and after a long day of touristing in San Francisco, Lori and I are gonna kick back on the couch out front and throw on a movie and what better movie to watch than Winchester since we just saw the Winchester Mystery House. That's what this is kind of about, it's about Sarah Winchester. I think so. it's gonna be a scary movie though. So Before Lori's I go gonna- to sleep, not so good. Lori's gonna make sure that she cuddles up close to me and make sure that I'm not scared. <laughs> no? Oh, we're not both scared. We cuddle with each other. <laughs> Aww. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Time to leave the San Francisco RV Resort and head down the road. Not much really to show you here. Look, everybody else has got the same idea today. Everybody's leaving. So, lots of open space, but uh, we're gonna well, we've already packed up and we're ready to go, right? Yes, like we're ready. Ready. Seat belt and ready to go. Uh, yeah, I got to throw my seatbelt on. Everyone's gonna yell at me, so we'll uh, get that done, and we're gonna end up somewhere around Santa Rosa, California today. So let's hit the road. As with what happens sometimes, campgrounds are just kind of a means to an end to us, and that's what this one was. We didn't spend any time really in the campground. It was leave in the morning, come back when it was dark but it was pretty handy to San Francisco. They have a few amenities though. They have a pool, they have a hot tub, a huge laundry room that it looked very clean. The bathrooms look clean. I mean, not spotless, but they're, they were okay. Uh, but the sites themselves are pretty tight. 
Yeah, uh, it is definitely a an RV park. Yeah, it's a city camping basically. It's not what you're gonna find in your like state parks or anything like that. Yeah, but the the girls in the office were super nice. They were very accommodating, so that's always nice as well. That helps make the the park a little bit better when the staff is really good. If you don't have a tow. This is a great park because you can just walk to, like it's one block away from Safeway, so your grocery store, and one block away from the bus stop that takes you to BART and you can take the BART that is their subway system into the city. So pretty amazing place if you also don't have a tow. We're just kind of circling around through the neighborhood. We got to go to the post office. So this is the neighborhood right next to the campground so you can see that pretty handy to the ocean as far as ocean views go. Access to the ocean beach a mile south. This seems to be a, a place where there's some quote unquote stealth camping going on. Every night these streets are lined with class C's and stuff. Yeah, what you see right now, the cars on the left, all that will be filled with class C's and class B's at night. Yeah, not our cup of tea, but if it works for them, works for them. Well, we're not that small anyway. <laughs> We know we missed a whole lot of stuff in San Francisco, so I'm sure we're gonna get the, you missed this, you missed that, you missed the zoo, you missed uh, Exploratorium, you missed, we know we missed a bunch. We didn't spend enough time in San Francisco to do everything that we wanted to do, but we did get some of the stuff accomplished and we had a great time while we were here. Got to experience a little bit of the tour stuff. Well, San Francisco is one of those places so much to do. Yeah, like, so much we'd have to, to stay do. a month. So we're still heading north towards Alaska and that's kind of our priority right now is to keep making our way that way. Jumped off the freeway quick. We dropped into Sausalito. It's a little tiny harbor town. We may find this is a big mistake because there's not a lot of room to run around down here. So we see that there is a tour bus parking lot down here. So we're gonna try to make it into that. Figured if it makes tour buses, we can, should be able to fit us. Come here if you're in a small class C or a class B bigger than that, probably we shouldn't be here, probably. We're gonna find out. All right, we found a place to park in Sausalito. It's not really a great spot because it says permit parking only for the harbor. So uh, <laughs> we'll see if we don't get booted or something. Well, we went to the information center, they told us, oh, don't worry about it. And also the people that are in that plaza, we talked to them and they're like, oh, we have nothing to do with it. Yeah, <laughs> so, so we can't get a definitive answer on the, whether yeah. or not we're gonna get fined before we get back. So they said nobody's gonna say anything. But so they we'll told see. us there is a very cool thing to see right here, not too far from here. Yeah, so we're gonna go check out this floating houseboat that's supposed to be enormous. One of the things that Sausalito is known for are these here. There's these giant houseboats, and there are hundreds of them all over the place, but we're gonna go check out a special one here in just a second. And this here is what they call the Taj Mahal. It is a 4,500 square foot houseboat here in Sausalito. <laughs> that is pretty crazy. 
there is another section of town here in Sausalito where there are literally tons of these things, but Very it's just so park. hard for us to get parking close by, so we're probably not gonna be able to see those. <laughs> That's pretty slick. I absolutely love this environment, <laughs> but Lori won't let me have a boat. It's not like I won't let him. If he will put his mind and thought into training all these years that we're RVing, maybe at some point we could jump into that. But. I can't train for boating while we're in an RV. We have to have the boat, then we train for it. The theory of it. Ah, I see. The and theory? And then another years of practice. The theory is you keep your wind at your back and you point the nose forward and away you go. See, doesn't, can't be that hard. I don't think it's that simple. <laughs> After a look at the Taj Mahal there, we're going to take a quick walk through downtown Sausalito before heading up 101 north to Alaska. Not to a day. Eventually. Though. Eventually. We have arrived at the it. Russian River Resort. Let's see what Thousand Trails has got for us here. Park here while registering. We can do that. We have arrived at the Russian River Thousand Trails just outside of Cloverdale, California. And we'll show you guys around over the next couple of days because we've had a lot going on in this video. So this is the time that we need to yeah. shut her down. Yes, Ozzy's already assessing the spot. He's already out and around. Yeah, Ozzy, Ozzy thinks it's good. So if Ozzy thinks it's good, then it's good, <laughs> I guess. But this is what we're going to call this one. So if this is your first time here, we'd love for you to hang out with us and get to know us a little bit. Maybe catch you on the road someday. But if you want to hang out, get to see more videos, you got to hit that subscribe button. So mm -hmm. go ahead and do that now. And it'd be awesome if you liked the video. We'll see you again next time. And don't forget about Facebook and Instagram. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Facebook and Instagram is a great way to keep up with us. So check Bye us out guys. there as well. Bye now. Now we're going to kick back and have a soda pop or two and... Soda pop. Just soak it all in. Soda pop Canadian. Soda pop? No, and yeah. And no, and yeah. North I guess it would be. It would be pop in Canada. <laughs>